Hello there. There is a very common problem that Windows computer users face. And this problem is that Windows C drive gets pretty full in a short period of time. So in this video, we'll learn how to free up space from Windows C drive. Let's get started. First things first, you click on the start button. When you click on the start button, you look for file explore. So you can just press on the keyboard F and the file explore will come here, but it's also down here on the taskbar. So you can just click on the file explore down here or here. Whichever one you choose, it's up to you. When you click here, you see this PC. You click on that, then you have this window, it's maximize the window and see the entire view. In here, we want to open the local disk C, so you double click to open it. And in here, we want to open the Windows folder. In this Windows folder, we are going to look for a folder called software distribution. In this software distribution, let's find it. Where is it? Software distribution. Here, software distribution has to be opened, so you double click to open it. When you open this folder, you're going to see the downloads folder. The download folder in here, we you're going to have files that are no longer necessary. This folder contains the other versions of Windows. So, so these files that are here are not uh, working and not necessary. They, they don't do anything. So what you have to do is <coughs> delete these files. These files are not very important. So when you delete this, your computer will still uh, perform just fine. So this will not affect anything. When you delete this folder, it's not you're not going to face any problem. So there are two ways of deleting something you can use this X here or just click on this delete button here and you have the permanent delete option and just the delete which sends the uh, deleted item in the recycle bin. Here we want to delete this permanently. So you have to use the shift delete or the permanent delete option. So here we can just click on the shift and delete and everything's going to be deleted and that's what you want and delete and just wait for this to delete everything and you'll be good to go just like that this is how you free up some space from your c drive when you're done with this you close the window then you place the window plus r key on the keyboard then you're going to get this run dialog box in this input box you're going to type clean you're going to type clean m g r then you press enter then it's going to open this this cleaner up dialog box. In here, you want to make sure that all the items in these files delete are selected. These files here are junk files. All these files here are junk files. So these files are not necessary. They are no longer needed by the computer. So you can just delete these. So you make sure that everything here is selected. In your case, you might have some that are not selected. Make sure that everything is selected here. Then you have the number of MBs or maybe GBs that is going to be freed. So after that, you just click, click on OK. Then the computer is going to do as wise. Sometimes it might, it might take long, so you just wait for it to finish cleaning up your C drive. For me, it looks like it's a fast, so that's what I want. And there you go. Another way to clean up your C drive is to press Windows key together with ARA to open this run window. Open this dialog box and type appwiz.cpl. Then you click on OK to open this uh, programs and features window. Here, this is where you have all the softwares that are installed on your computer. In here, you have to look for softwares that you no longer use, the softwares that are no longer in use. So here, you just right click on the software that you want to remove from your computer, then you can just and install it to remove it completely from your computer. So for me here, I think all these are in use, so I'm not going to do anything. Right click on it, then you're going to see the uninstall button here. When you right click on any software that you want to remove, you see the uninstall. So that's another way to remove uh, softwares that are no longer in use. Because here you're going to have softwares that are bigger than expected. Sometimes it's going to be 1 GB, 15 GB, but you no longer use it. So you have to uninstall it to free up some space from your computer so that it becomes a little bit faster. Another method is to place control to, to place Windows key together with ARA again. Then you type um, this temp word. Just type temp in capital letters or in small letters. When you type this, you press enter. Then it's going to open this window. In here, all these files that are here are no longer necessary. So you just uh, place control A and you press shift and delete. Then you allow 
the deletion to happen by just clicking on by just click on by just clicking by just clicking on the yes command here it's going to delete all the files that are no longer necessary that are no longer being used by the computer and this is another way to free up space because here you can have a big amounts of data that is uh getting a lot of space from in your computer so that is not necessary you have to make sure that you, you clean up space like that Another way, Windows, together with ARA, then use the percentage, uh, temp percentage, just like that. Let's enter. It's also going to open another similar folder. In here, all these files are no longer necessary. So you just uh, highlight all of them, select all of them at once, then press the shift and delete, then yeah, enter. This is another way to clean up space. As you can see, it's 4GB plus of space being released. This is going to make sure that the space in your computer is cleaned and that's what you want. Wait for it to finish deleting. When it's done, you see the confirmation command saying it's it has completed. For me, it's taking longer than expected. So when it's you, just be patient. Here, these files are revealing it's like the computer is still using these files. So it's okay. You have to leave this here. Well, these are the ways to get rid, to get rid of unnecessary files to free up some space in your Windows C drive. Hopefully these methods were helpful to you and I hope to see you in another video. Thank you.